So in 2007, Dr. Richard Firestone and 25 co-authors presented their evidence for the younger Dryas impact hypothesis. And after some some ups and some some downs, uh, and some of those downs included literally being shunned at conferences and things like that. Uh, I've heard it described as the mean girl treatment. By 2016, uh, this group of researchers uh, decided that they needed to form some form of of group and alliance of of people that are trying to solve this uh, mystery. And uh, that was what led to the creation of the Comet Research Group. And, and this wasn't like it was some kind of like ragtag group of researchers, you know, rogue researchers like myself. Uh, you know, these were these were legit scientists. These were researchers at major universities. Uh, and, and again, they were just trying to get their message out. You know, they were finding evidence of an impact all around the world uh, and it was being ignored. I mean, Dr. Firestone himself is a is a nuclear physicist at the uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Uh, we've got guys like Dr. Malcolm LeCompte. We've got Dr. Christopher Moore. Uh, these are both, uh, well, I know Dr. Christopher Moore is an archaeologist out of South Carolina. Uh, we have Drs. Uh, James and Douglas Kennett uh, from, from the University of California and Penn State. Uh, we've got Dr. Al Goodyear of the, the University of South Carolina, Dr. Eric uh, Richman of uh, the University of Oregon. They have researchers like Dr. Jack Ray of Missouri State University, Dr. James Weaver of Harvard, archaeologists like uh, Dr. Randy Daniel from Eastern Carolina University, uh, Dr. Tim uh, Whitwer from Boston University, and the list goes on and on. We have researchers from, from different countries like Russia and uh, Lithuania. The list is literally from all around the world now, and it continues to grow to this day. So since its creation in 2016, the Comet Research Group uh, has continued to grow in numbers. Uh, the papers that are coming out are one after another. Some of these papers you can find right here at the uh, cometresearchgroup.org. And coming up next, we are going to spend some time looking at how to use the official bibliography of the Younger Dryas Impact uh, Hypothesis, uh, which has aptly been named the Bib. So we'll get to that next.